What's up guys, Official Phone Rebel here, and today Android Nugget Developer Preview 5 was released, and there were 12 important changes that I wanted to go ahead and cover with you in this video. They're nothing too big, not very monumental, but they are there, so uh, let's cover them. And before I get into that, I just wanted to say, if you wanna install this, you can. Anybody can really install this preview right now, so uh, would I recommend it? Probably not, it's not too stable, and you'll know what I'm talking about in a minute, but let's go ahead and jump in. So first thing is the fix to the quick settings up here. So I've got developer preview for right here, just for reference, so you guys can see how it was before and after. So let's say you jump into your quick settings and you wanna disable Wi-Fi on preview four. Well, it opens up the whole menu right there, which is a little bit of an inconvenience. Wouldn't you rather just turn it off like that? Well, it's been fixed in preview five, so you can go ahead and enable and disable them. The only one I think that's not working is the cellular one, uh, but otherwise all the other ones, oh, well, not all of them are working. I guess they still gotta fix some other ones, but at least the Wi-Fi one is. And of course the Easter egg found in the actual settings. So jumping into the about phone, go ahead and click on the Android version which by the way has been renamed to Nuggets. And now when you go ahead and hold on it, there is a new Easter egg. So just keep tapping on it and hold and you will get this little cat emoji down here. So that's how you know it worked. Previously when you did that, all you got was the little McNamee face or whatever it was called before it was named. So, all right, so what does that do? Now go ahead and slide into your quick settings and you wanna go ahead and edit it and we're gonna place the new one, which is this Android Easter egg, even labeled that in here. So, uh, all right, so once we drag that in there, you wanna go ahead and exit out of it and get back into it and there will be an empty dish in here. And you wanna go ahead and click on it and you can bait the cat with all these other treats, it's kind of funny. So eventually you can catch it, it's kind of a neat little Easter egg. Not the same as the Flappy Bird one that existed before, that one was kind of cool. But yeah, eventually you'll catch that cat and you can change how you bait it using these guys. So really cool. Pokemon Go now actually works. So it is officially supported in this latest version. So if you guys are experiencing any bugs before, now you guys should be good and it will work reliably in this new uh, Preview 5. And most of the improvements will be inside of the Google Camera application. It's now been updated to a version 4.1. So uh, most notably is some of these settings. So going up here to the controls like the exposure or HDR, if you click on it, it no longer, you know, rotates through them like that, like a little uh, wheel, but now it has its own little individual menu where you can change the settings from in here. And that applies to every single one, including the flash. So on this guy, it rotates. On this guy, you get a nice little menu for it. Now going into the settings, if you jump into here, they're all laid out. So you don't need to dig through all these sub menus. They're all here for easy changing. So if you guys go ahead and take a photo, now there is a new animation when jumping into it. So it, it kind of zooms in very similar to iOS instead of just sliding in, kind of nice. Other cool thing is you can slide down to exit it, whereas before it would just make the photo disappear. So a uh, really cool little change right there. Also jumping back into the camera roll. So now instead of the uh, little Google icon right there, it now has an all photos icon instead. And also most notably is you can adjust what the volume button does. So if we go ahead and find that setting in here, there are now three options. One, you can keep as regular volume buttons, you can choose the shutter or use it to zoom. So cool little adjustment there. Also, not much of a feature, but the option to show manual exposure has been removed since in a developer preview five. No word on whether or not it's going to come back. And one last change to wrap this up with. So uh, if you wanna find out where your app is coming from, like if you forgot you downloaded it from a third party source or from the Play Store, just take the app, let's say Instagram right here, I'm gonna go into app info, and now at the very bottom, you'll see that it does tell you where the app was installed. So this one was installed from the Play Store, good stuff. All right, guys, that is Android N Developer Preview 5. I will be keeping you guys updated on any other news, but nice little update, not much changes. There's certainly more in like iOS releases, but hey, nice little update for you. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Have a great day. Peace.